Yo, horror fans, I'm back at it again with a double feature. You know, I did something for my horror fans earlier, and now it's something for all you fragheads. So stay tuned, because I'm going to go through a top five designer list for the springtime, for 2018. So I do have an honorable mention, and I'll get to that here shortly. But please, if you haven't yet done so, subscribe, give me the thumbs up, and leave your comments below. Let me know if you guys have tried these scents before. And again, I don't say that men can only wear men's scents or women can only wear women's scents. So these are definitely men's fragrances, but women can rock them. So just keep that in mind. And also a lot of these are citrus based scents. So I'm not going to go really into notes, but give you a rundown of some very safe scents that if you had either one of these scents, you'd be good for the springtime and the summertime. So let's go ahead and do the spring, um, list right now and we're looking at my honorable mention and the fact that it's an honorable mention isn't necessarily because it's behind the other ones it's just due to the fact that it's discontinued so it's a little bit harder to find uh, pretty pricey more along the lines of a niche scent because of it being um being uh, discontinued but look at here we go we got the older invictus aqua you know guys Women love this scent. You know, you're getting great performance. Uh, you're la it lasts probably about six to eight hours on the skin. Um, the longevity is there. You know, the compliment factor is there. You know, both men, like I said, love love the scent. Women love the scent. So you're going to be good with this if you're able to get it for the cheap. And again, I've told you guys before, follow me. Um, leave your comments below if you want me to hook you guys up with some tips on how to obtain some of these scents for the cheap. Okay, so now we're going to go into uh, my number five scent, and we're looking at this one, Lome Ideal Cologne by Guerlain. You know, very fresh, uplifting, I, I feel like I get a champagne type of vibe, and a lot of florals, so it's a very, very easy going, easy wearing scent, uh, I'm probably getting about six, five to six hours of performance. The projection is there, so you're going to get that projection from people around you for a good three to four hours. Uh, but again, if you haven't looked at my other video, uh, I gave a tip on how you can uh, make your fragrances last longer. So take a look at that video. So that's going to be uh, my number five. Now my number four scent is very much kind of a tie because I like them both the same. But in this case, I'm going to go ahead and do this baby. Bulgari's Aqua Amara. You know, we all hear about it from the frag heads out in the community. It's just so aquatic. You're getting a lot of aquatics. You're getting some spice in it. Uh, and this one, honestly, out of my entire list, will last the longest. You know, it leans a little more, more feminine, uh, but I, I, I can rock it, guys. I absolutely love it. Uh, if you haven't tried it, try it out. Go to Sephora. I think they still have some where you can pick up the samples. You know, having to pay any money for it. But again, Aqua Amara by Bulgari. Okay. So next is going to be one that is a Chanel fragrance. And this one also reminds me of Lemon Meringue Pie. You know, you, you can't really find this too often. You can go to like Nordstrom and, and maybe get it. But again, don't do that. Follow me. I'll hook you guys up. And we're looking at Chanel Allure Homme Edition en Blanche. Uh, it smells like lemon meringue pie, so you're getting a lot of lemon notes. You're getting uh, lime. I'm getting that kind of pieish kind of kind of scent coming at you. And and this one, it does last. I don't know. For me, I, I'm getting about five to six hours with it. it it's not the best when it comes to longevity. Uh, the performance is is okay. You know, maybe people around me can smell it for uh, maybe three four hours, and then it wears down. So. Again, uh, this one is a little bit hard to find, uh, but again, I can hook you guys up, so reach out to me. All right, now we're going to go into one of my most recent purchases, which is kind of old, but I really, really dig this one, and we're looking at Mugler Ultra Zest. So this one is very, very nice. Uh, the sprayer, everyone says it sucks. It, it kind of does. You got to kind of hit it right, but... Um, Man, you're just getting a big old burst of orange, guys. You got that same DNA with the Mugler uh, Angelman uh, line that's there, but it's just very refreshing, great for the spring. 
it lasts a long time for me. I'm getting about seven to eight hours with this scent right here. And the performance is really, really good as well. I'm getting maybe five to six hours of, of performance where people are able to smell it on me and uh, no issues. So that's my number two. And again, Mugler Ultra Zest. Okay, now we're going to my uh, another one of my most recent purchases and I actually traded uh, for this just recently. So um, we're looking at Dior, Dior, oh, I'm sorry, Dior Sauvage uh, Eau de Parfum. You know, this one is a very great scent, guys. It's a little bit more masculine than the original um, Dior uh, Sauvage line uh, that they have out. But it, it's, def, it's definitely going to last longer than the original, and you're getting a lot more better performance. Uh, the smell, the characteristics on the smell, you're getting a lot of aquatics, you're getting some spice, and um, everything's nice. But uh, anyways, guys, this one is going to last you about six to eight hours. Uh, the longevity is going to last, um, I don't know, people are going to smell it on you for probably around the same amount of time. This one lasts a long time on the skin. You may not be able to smell it, but everyone around you may be, will be able to smell it on you. So uh, outside of that, guys, you know, you're, you're kind of looking up along with all of these, a ballpark on what the cost is going to be, anywhere between $45 to $90. So anywhere between that line is what you're going to be spending for each one of these scents. And like I said, message me below, comment me, on uh, that you want to you know follow me and i'll go ahead and hook you up with how you can save some extra money where you're not having to buy these retail again until next time peace